Hi, boys and girls. Hi, how are you? My name is Teacher Mish, and as part of our Light Park VBS series, I'll take you through a lesson on self control. I would like to pose you a question What is self control? There are two things in this self, who is like me, I, this is myself, and then control. What is control? Like a car, you have to drive a car. When you came to church or when you go to church and you go somewhere, the car cannot drive itself. So it has to be controlled by someone. In class, we ask, what do you, what do you want to be in future? And most of you say, a pilot. That's a plane. You have to control it. Without, without someone to control the plane, it will go down. So self-control is controlling your own self. And so... I want us to learn that God helps us to shine in self-control so as we can avoid to do the wrong things. Yes, a car has to be controlled by a driver, a plane has to be controlled by a pilot, but for yourself, it's God who can be able to control you. And so at the end of this lesson, I want us to learn a few things, or what is the objective of this lesson today, is to be able to know that what is self-control? To understand, as I've explained to you, is controlling your very own self. And then also know that we can shine in self-control. Just like four men, we're going to learn about four very young men who are almost the same age as you are in, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And also, I want us to know that only God can help us to control our lives. And the last part on the objective is we can get ways of controlling our everyday life or everyday activities that we go in. How can we control ourselves? Or in which areas can we apply this self-control? And so our main story comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 1 to 21. And it's about the story of these four young men I've told you about. So, and the story goes like, there was a young man in the, in the Bible named Daniel who was able to refuse a very attractive offer from the king. He did not want to sin against God. This was a time when the Israelites had been captured by a very evil king who was called Nebuchadnezzar, <coughs> who made most of them slaves. When these were captured, they were forced to do very hard work without any payment without even a penny. And then the king ordered his people, his officials, to look for very young and intelligent people who had a very sharp mind to serve in his throne. So these officials went out and picked four men, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, so that they could teach them their language and feed them with a very fine food and wine. And then after three years, they'll be presented to this king. So these young men were offered all the good luxuries, all the good things by this king. These young men were given very fine food by this king, which was served in very stylish ways. Just a point to pause. You can think of if you go to a very good hotel and then you are told, eat anything you want. Look for, I mean, if you want chips, you want pizza, if you want what, every day for three years, you are given those very fine things. So these young men were given all that offer. But then Daniel, Shadrach, and his friends looked at this and saw, huh, this is the same food that is being given to idols. Then they thought amongst themselves, really, are we going to take this food from the king? which is even be given to idols, and us, we serve your mighty God. Then they came to their senses and said, mm -mm, we are not going to do this. Yes, the food is very attractive. The food is very nice. There's even wine. We can take all these things. But then it goes against our faith. And so they said, mm -mm, king, we are not going to take your food. We are not going to take those fine food that is even for idols. Instead, we want you people to Test us. Give us only 10 days. 10 days. Give us only vegetables and water and check our health after 10 days. 
then the officials were like are you people serious are you sure maybe that is the, what what they're thinking in their minds and then they let them okay we'll give you what vegetables and water and then after 10 days we'll test you again and see if you're still healthy maybe we'll proceed if you're not mm -mm, you'll still have to eat the fine food from the from the king's table after 10 days they came back and were tested and were better than even the other people the other young men who are eating the fine food Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were splendid. They were very nice. They were very good in health. Even their intellect was sharper than even all the others. And so the officials wondered, wow, how? How can this be? How can these people just take vegetables and water and be better than those people who are taking the fine food? Wow, that was a big misunderstanding in the in the in the king's officials and so there's something i want us to learn from this there are points i want us to learn from this story how comes daniel shadrach and abednego were able to be better so four things to learn from this story is that the king yes king nebuchadnezzar gave shadrach meshach daniel and abednego very nice tasty food expensive rare foods in their times even at this time you can think of those very expensive and rare foods but remember the four of them refused to take this food and said it was against their beliefs and the faith they have in god so they chose courage and refused to sin against god it takes a lot of courage to say no to people in power and authority but they said no to that and served and they chose to serve god number four they asked that they eat vegetables only and be checked after 10 days number five after five days oh sorry after 10 days they were better after 10 days they were checked and were better in health and even in intellect than those who ate the king's food and the sixth thing we learned from this is that God blessed them and for the rest of the three years period they were to, to secluded and and being trained they were even better than even those who are eating the fine food I know you remember the story of Daniel and the visions he later was able to interpret for the king yes because he was among the four and they were better than all the others so those are the things that we pick up from this study and the lessons that we learn from this what are the lessons i know you're going through in your mind and thinking what lesson am i learning from this so the lesson we learn from this today is that we we are supposed to have self-control in our lives in areas even in our homes and in school we are supposed to have self-control if it's something which is bad say no if it's something which is good do it When told not to touch something, even at home by your parents, please don't disobey. Obey your parents and do the right thing. When someone wants to share with you something which is immoral, like now I know some of you are doing online classes or even you're chatting with your friends because you can't meet them, your schoolmates. If it's something which is immoral, learn to say no. Control yourself. Even on your neighbors, invite us to do something that is not good have self-control and say no when your friends when you meet your friends or your neighbors in your neighborhoods you'll be able to move out of the house and you find they are gossiping or they are saying things that are not right always remember to don't contribute or keep yourself off even sometimes when you're at home seated at home and you're watching your nice favorite cartoon or even a tv program or something on Netflix or any of these programs, online platforms, and house workers come, remember to always have self-control in yourself, refuse or move away from those enticing things and go to do the work maybe your parents have set out for you, even as you stay at home. Again, sometimes you may have cravings for sweet things, sweet sweets and uh, nice junky foods junk food maybe your parents are not there and you want to 
have a bite on those things. Always remember to have self-control. Don't indulge in those junks. So from the lesson of from this lesson, we learn to have self-control and do the right thing as God and our parents expect from us. And so in conclusion, I also want us to do a memory verse, which is from the book of Proverbs 25, verse 28, which says, A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Yes, for city you can put there estate, house, or even your compound at home. If the walls are broken, what will happen? Thieves and all these can, can come in. And then a man, even a girl, we also mean a girl without self-control, a boy without self-control, a woman without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. So let's do the memory verse again. Proverbs 25 verse 28 says, a man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Thank you. It takes great faith. Meshach and Abednego, for he saved them and delivered them from the fiery furnace. Therefore, I make this decree. Everyone throughout the land is to worship the one true living God. Yeah! Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. 